Hello again and welcome back to Thailand. Um, over the Christmas holidays, my, uh, cousins, my cousins in Germany uh, sent me uh, a few gifts, among them uh, the, these marzipan uh, confections in the shape of fruit. Um, these bring back some memories for me as a kid because my mother used to get me these during the Christmas holidays and I sort of remember seeing this one uh, fruit that's shaped like an, uh, like an orange, expected, expecting it to taste like an orange, and it wound up tasting like uh, sweetened uh, almond paste because that's what marzipan's made out of. It's basically almond paste and either sugar or honey to sweeten it. Um, receiving this here in Thailand instantly reminded me that um, we have a similar um, confection and I say confection because it's not really candy, not really a pastry, it's in a different league of its own. Um, these are called Lukchup or Kanom Lukchup. And as you see, they're similar shapes. They're formed to look like uh, fruits. And I'm pretty sure they're not going to taste exactly like fruits. I haven't tried them yet. Um, they're a, they were inspired by uh, European marzipan and not having almonds in quite quantities here in Thailand, uh, they use mung beans and uh, of course the sweetener is still available here too. So let's do a taste off and taste test and see how different and similar these are. First I'll start with the marzipan which is the known good here. And let's see if I can open this somehow without... Alright, we'll do it the old fashioned way. I know there's some packaging has a little um, nick in the corner and it makes it very easy to open with your hands but uh, if that fails you've got to use something else like your teeth. So I've got looks like they're trying to emulate an apple, a pear, an orange, and a banana. Let's see, uh, let's see what these turn out to. It. This is it's not a whole apple, it's just a slice of an apple I guess or whatever it's supposed to be. And yeah, that definitely tastes like sweetened almond paste. There may be a little bit uh, another flavoring in there mixed in. Maybe it's hard to put my finger on. But it's certainly nice and tasty. Uh, let me check the ingredients here. Uh, it might be listed in. Nothing else. Almonds, sugar, and water, and the colorings, of course. Natural colorings. Not very nice, though. So I've had marzipan before. I'm familiar with its flavor, and I really enjoy it. These are going to be disappearing pretty quickly. Now, I've yet to try any of these, and I want to find out if their texture and the flavor is at all similar, or maybe it's gone off in a near direction. Uh, these are a little bit, uh, there's a sort of a mm, stickiness on the surface here. I'm not sure what that's uh, supposed to be. It's a long piece of, a long red something. Not a banana. Some other fruit. Hmm, that's different. It's actually the, the, the it, it's half the, f reminds me of a grape. You know how a grape has a outer skin and it's not really tough, but it requires some biting into. And once you go through that, you find that the inside is a lot softer. And they managed to create that texture. The outside is actually kind of like the rind of a of a fruit. I 
Oh, it's got a... This one's obviously going to try trying to look like a, um, a mango. Really common fruit here in Thailand. In fact, it actually has a little, a little stem on it. I'm not sure how they made that. And I'm hoping that I'm hoping that's edible too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now mung beans are used once in a while in, in, in Thai cooking. Um, one that I remember is when they have um, when you have uh, mango sticky rice. Um, after the sticky rice is served up and you have some coconut or uh, coconut milk drizzled over the top of the confection, sometimes they have some roasted, um, well usually they have some roasted mung beans scattered on top and they're kind of like small peanuts or something like that. Uh, this little stem here, it's certainly edible. I have no idea how they make that. I believe there's some online instructions maybe on YouTube, for how to make these. Um, there's a lot of sugar syrup on the surface of these. Now, I bought these last night at the market, and um, maybe they weren't as s slippery and sticky as they are now, but this kind of looks like a small um, eggplant, or a long eggplant. Of course, the flavors are all the same. Mm. Um, the mung beans, of course, don't taste exactly like mm, almonds. Almond has a sort of a flat taste, and this is more bean-like, like a bean. Think of like, um, I don't know, Spanish, Mexican refried beans or um, baked beans or something like that. Very slight. It doesn't get away. And it's not extremely sweet. Medium sweet. Um, there's a texture to the mung beans. It's sort of dry. But yeah, that is... Um, let me get the pronunciation right again here. Karam luk chup. Or simply luk chup. Uh, karam um, generally me refers to a snack or a confection, although in Thai, when we say karam, um, karam ban, karam pan, um, that means bread. And uh, for Western minds, to have bread categorized as a snack or a confection is kind of disturbing. <laughs> But um, that's just the way it's looked at. So kanam is, is usually some sort of snack or confection. Um, and there's a whole list of those, and I'll probably want to go ahead and do some exploration of some of those as well. So this is kanam look chup. If you see it, um, often it's sold in the um, street markets here in Chiang Mai. It's, um, of course, it's very attention getting. You see these tiny little shiny fruits and uh, you can't resist uh, tasting them. Um, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still prefer uh, marzipan over kanam luk chup only because it's uh, the first thing I encountered in my life. So anyway, this is a little exploration of one of Thailand's many sweets and um, I'm going to see if I can do some more of these. There's a lot to explore. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like, you like seeing what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you want to come back and see more, uh, please subscribe and, and uh, I'll see what I can provide for you. Thanks for watching.